Do you want to discover your own? Someone you will spend time with, exchange unforgettable experiences, and create a future collaboration while you're searching for. When you think about love, you picture. How many people are in your ideal persona? Pass through our lives and are all around us, and not one of them grabs our interest. Until it seems like a gift or miracle from the scenario, you happen to run upon someone very unique. Let me illustrate. See yourself somewhere, maybe. A park or cafe in front of you for a brief. When someone is seated far away, it's not a familiar person, yet there's Something is appealing about this individual, that you have an understandable relationship that fascinates you. A range of feelings appear. You are, on the one hand, really inquisitive about this individual. You want to understand who drives what narratives, remains inside. However, you feel a little anxious at all. Sensation of ambiguity in the face of the unknown. Or maybe you're considering someone with whom you are already familiar passes across your thoughts in an unexpected considerably more often than you would think possible. To acknowledge a well-known face, someone with, with whom you have had a strong connection. That transcends the surface level of your conversations with this individual have ceased, a lasting impression on your heart. Something is appealing about this individual that you two have an enigmatic connection that helps you feel secure and at ease. Feel a strong need for its companionship. Want to spend time with this. Once again, their remarks ring true in you. Grin at their mind's movements. And their looks cover you with a does this cozy feeling sound familiar. To you as those ideas start to thoughts and produce pleasant feelings in you. First secret, comprehending love and manifestation persuade oneself that the individual is the, the perfect one, is the one that you want on your side. You ponder how this individual arrived. Was it a coincidence that fate, a fortuitous encounter while driving, or perhaps in some way, your paths have combined before without your knowledge? What if I told you that everything in the universe with its boundless intricacy and wisdom prepared and eager to start weaving the strands? Despite the physical separation between your lives, while conditions could seem unfavorable, that the bond you have with that individual is not only a dream, it's a chance. To apply the strength of expression of an idea as ancient as Stoicism philosophy but up to date with the most recent self-assistance. The philosophy of trend stoicism is based on Zeno of Citium's teachings are about knowing what we can control, what isn't, followed by behaving in virtue and the rationale for leading a happy life. We learn to firmly establish ourselves in the concentrating on our deeds and sentiments as opposed to exterior conditions. So let's clarify this immediately. Stoic thinking advises us to concentrate on our conditions to develop an internal A garden where love and patience are sown and comprehension may grow. Despite the furious storms, the external expression of this perspective is more than just a straightforward A delusion or a dream that turns into a rigorous training for a smooth dance between the energy inside ourselves and the, the cosmos that we live in is all about building a close relationship with our inner self, recognizing the morals, attributes and feelings that we want to in our romantic lives by matching our ideas and emotions associated with these cravings. By generating a magnetic field, we synchronize with the frequency of the universe. It's all about taking on the attributes we pursue accepting the characteristics of freedom and clarity in self-love. Avoiding unpleasant feelings similar to a Stoic obtains mental peace by acknowledging and operating within the parameters of his or her regulate for the manifestation process to helps us concentrate on our own vibrational alignment as opposed to seeking to control the will of the cosmos. But how can you bridge the distance? between conventional philosophy and ancient philosophy strategies for manifestation, 
It starts with the knowledge that at the the power of both is at the center of recognize that the Stoics were among the first to the notion that our views influence our reality is a notion that fits flawlessly. Using the principle of attraction, imagining your presence a particular individual in your life, you are not just fantasizing, you are taking part in a, the stoic practice of paying attention to what you has the ability to regulate your feelings and ideas, and allowing the cosmos to handle the remainder as we set off on our adventure. Collectively, keep in mind the guy festering your... A unique individual is just as much about the inner labor because the result is what matters. It involves developing an attitude of abundance, thankfulness and open-heartedness, which we will examine today. The intimate linkages among Stoicism additionally phenomenon that we shall learn about along the everlasting guidelines for attracting love, strengthening bonds and drawing in that individual into your life, not by force, but using the elegant alignment of your internal and external worlds. The primary understanding of the universe's secrets, manifesting and cherishing the individual you're drawn to, might seem unattainable, split apart by a chasm of space or seem to be adverse. Conditions, but this sense of what is impossible is only an illusion that you possess. The second secret, the potency of lucidity and illustration, the ability to draw it into your existence using the idea of expression that the Stoics took for granted the ability of thought and deed to produce our lives and draw things into them. What we direct our attention and energy towards continue as we explore the core of expression, especially in the field of love that we find ourselves investigating, a region that predates humans by a long way. Awareness itself from the beginning of humans have searched for civilization, strategies for bringing love into their lives, utilizing rites, spells, and ancestors' convictions, without understanding that the, the key to drawing in a certain individual, their existence is via the concentration and intention power, allow us to firmly rooted in the knowledge of Stoicism is this antiquated theory that teaches us the importance of comprehension. What's within our control and what's not provides a strong basis for the travels of manifestation. Fundamentally manifest aims to bring your inner world into harmony. Ideas, feelings and convictions with the it's not the reality you want to create. About molding the cosmos to our desires instead of lining up so in harmony with it the way we want it. Now that Stoicism comes easy to us, its focus on personal peace and concentrating on our behavior is very. In opposition to this, the Stoics held that improving oneself and developing qualities and maintaining a calm inner state, irrespective of exterior situations about love and manifestation, which corresponds to a deep reality, the adventure begins internally to make a certain individual seem you have to first learn how to nurture the affection you hope to find within. It's about transforming into a vibrational alignment with the affection you're seeking. This does not entail making a change. Who you are to conform to the aspirations, but instead fostering the attributes of compassion, love, and knowing that you have inside you, similar to the Stoics who work on themselves and virtues as avenues for our pleasure. Practice developing attributes that connect us to the love that we want, yet it involves more than simply loving oneself. Comprehending love and manifestation via a stoic perspective also implies putting up with something we can't control. You can't make someone feel anything. Neither can we provide the precise timing for us or the route that love will take to enter our lives and our capabilities are limited. Our goals are aware of how to cultivate our inner selves and make our goals and have faith in the course of the universe. This giving up is not a, not a sign of weakness, but rather proof of our strength and comprehension of the in addition to the natural order of things. Stoicism enlightens us on the, the transience of outside circumstances 
and the significance of understanding the when expressing love in the here and now. It's easy to get mired in the future, outcomes or ruminate on previous mistakes, but by firmly establishing ourselves in the currently understanding our present situation and concentrating on our development, we provide a favorable environment for love to blossom. The key is to enjoy the journey of evolving into the greatest incarnation of one that is prepared and receptive to get the affection we want. A secret number two, the clarity proof power and the third secret. Let go of the bad visualization. Visualization has emerged as a strong instrument to access this universal want to visualize something nice. Confirmation and congruence with the love energy that individuals want to attract the perfect spouse to enter their life. This is the management principle. Anything, particularly a particular individual. Clarity into your life to determine precisely anything you want and a picture of it. It manifested in your thoughts before. Manifests in the real world like this procedure even if it is contemporary in its program, has a timeless relationship. Adopting the stoic discipline of concentrating on focusing on what we can manage and letting go of, what we are unable to stoicism an old ideology that instills the importance of recognizing and using the boundaries of what we can influence, provides a strong basis for these. The Stoics' manifestation practices stressed critical thinking and developing qualities inside that are closely. According to the first phase of manifestation, to get an understanding of our aspirations. The Stoic, Marcus Aurelius. The Emperor often discussed the significance of, of being mindfully clear and in the moment, which is necessary to understand who we actually desire about luring a particular individual. This is gaining an understanding of the reason we find them attractive, whether it are their humor and friendliness combined, or maybe how they highlight the supreme in the US. Awareness of this grows. Our goal establishes a direction and the direction in which to focus our energies, which appears after clarity is attained. Here is the stoic visualization exercises, or what you may have thought of a kind of pre-meditation enters the picture. Seneca discussed planning for future occurrences to lessen their influence on our feelings. State-of-the-art manifestation methods include seeing our goals as previously accomplished, not to lessen their impact, but to enhance our emotional vision that is in line with them strong instrument in the manifestation procedure as it creates a bridge somewhere between the concrete and the abstract. When we envision we're not just dreaming, we are constructing a vibrant mental image of where we would want to be. There is a gift with our ideal individual. Truth, this method uses the Our imagination's capacity to sense the feelings connected to our desire, profoundly increasing its realism in our stoicism. In the subconscious mind, tells us about the influence of our perceptions and the significance of managing them to visualize living a happy life. In the manifestations context is mostly about forming our views of reality, about seeing our life as it ought to be, not as it is modifying our mental and vibrational frequency by our desires, by clearly visualizing the situations we are now in and the in search of a love connection we start to represent the emotions of pleasure, love and thankfulness that is necessary for we draw into our lives the things we want. But the stoic wisdom of understanding what here, our ability to control, is essential. Imagine not having any influence on the outside, immediately, but to match our inner state. In our ideal world, the procedure of manifesting love involves more than just fourth secret. Make room. Drawing not only a certain individual, but also a travels of self-discovery via attention to what we are seeking a companion, we investigate. Our ideals, needs and aspirations expanding our understanding of ourselves. This alignment modifies our actions. 
behaviors and responses in a subtle yet deep ways that increase our receptivity to getting affection and being more inclined to identify it when it seems hidden. Third, let go of the negativity. Stoics, who emphasize inner tranquilly because the contrast between control teaches us an important lesson. We don't have authority over changing things or people outside of ourselves, but in controlling our responses and feelings for them within the framework. Of manifestation, this knowledge is translated, understanding how crucial it is to let go of adversity engenders bitterness. Fear or envy might have negative effects. Obstacles to obtaining the love we want. Clinging to such feelings is comparable to transporting a bulky anchor that impedes our travel in search of fulfilling connections in the same way that a Stoic could logical examination and contemplation to dispel these emotions just as we can. Engage in activities that assist us in releasing these sentimental burdens, a successful Stoic approach preparing for hardship in which one illustrates possible negative repercussions or difficulties to decrease their emotional toll when this applies to it entails letting go of bad feelings, recognizing these emotions, knowing where they came from, and then making the deliberate decision to let them pass, realizing that they are of no use. For our utmost benefit, this procedure corresponds with the resolute conviction that the, the transience of outside circumstances and the importance of keeping calm Condition of mind, notwithstanding variations externally, in addition to the Stoic, the idea of morality, or the love of fate, a deep understanding of the art of releasing, involves embracing whatever thrown at us by life and observing each experience when it's required and advantageous. For our development, using a MOPA to manifestation entails acknowledging the the status of our relationships right now and conditions devoid of opposition, believing that everything is working out. In the end, this acceptance will benefit us, does not imply inaction, but rather a proactive dedication to life from a, a setting of transparency and trust. Be prepared to accept love in all of its manifestations and release the things that impede our progress. And this stoic attitude of enjoyment also includes distancing ourselves from desired outcomes. To do that, it is unnecessary. Obstacles and conflicts, the stoics would counsel us to concentrate on growing. Qualities like generosity, tolerance, and recognizing attributes that come create sincere, passionate partnerships. By, by doing this, we harmonize our energetic resonance with the fundamental elements of love. Our goal is to increase our receptivity when it arises by accepting these impassive concepts that provide a strong framework for letting go of bad feelings and educating oneself within the framework of indication that it is a custom of internal transformation via emotional alchemy transformed into a lovingly radiant landscape, openness and acceptance when we let go of, we liberate ourselves from what burdens us. Proceed with poise and comfort, prepared. In summary, exhibiting virtue and love to accept the love that is rightfully ours. Lives this emotional release trip and detachment goes beyond just drawing in a certain individual, but also about turning into a love beacon and the light that creates connections for us that represent our best selves and our secret number. 4. Make room and use sensible measures to advance into the field of activity within the process of manifestation, especially in light of drawing a particular individual into our lives. The room must be made available in our lives and implement these useful actions. Behaviors are intricately linked to the Stoic concepts that instruct us not only how crucial the internal. Nevertheless, the significance of external behaviors that are consistent with our internal. At its foundation, Stoicism advocates living in harmony with the natural world 
including both the nature of the external environment from a stoic perspective, sensible actions and making room for relationships or new opportunities are an expression of cooperating with. In this natural order, readiness is key. The ground on which we dwell, so that when the opportunities are sown and they may blossom, making room for the individual. Who's going to enter your life thus transcends the philosophical incorporates both concrete and symbolic actions. Of tidying and getting ready, this may imply organizing your life surroundings that signify and create space for fresh vitality to come in. It could also include looking over your schedule and procedures to determine where you can. It's time for an update. Connection that this is coupled with the stoic behavior of self-reflection and existence, purposefully concentrating on what really essentials and letting go of the unimportant service. Creating space requires being ready. This might indicate something about your emotional terrain. Healing from the past and forgiving the past. Complaints with others, as well as self-control and stoicism, impart to us the, the importance of moving on and forgiving, moving on without carrying the weight of the past errors, such as Marcus Aurelius. Highlighted the importance of starting each fresh day, devoid of the rage of utilizing this yesterday for our in-relationships, one must take a fresh attitude. Relationship without historical shadows, experiences obscuring our present opinions as well as connections between these useful metrics, imply that if your goal is to draw in a particular individual or the attributes they represent, you have to make an effort to under circumstances that suit your desires, like taking part in pursuits and developing passions that are in line with the attributes Stoicism motivates us to take action in, in keeping with our values and participating in pursuits that hone our moral fiber. In the present era, it might imply uniting, gatherings, seminars or occasions where you may encounter like-minded individuals or even the person you are also manifesting. The stoic idea of operating by our control includes fostering our development on a personal level and becoming the version that is consistent with our aspirations, whether they are to enhance our strengthening our ability to communicate, enhancing our emotional intelligence or physical health. Every action is one more stride in the direction of magnetism for the affection and kinship we yearn for in essentially making room and grabbing useful actions Within the framework of making a certain individual appear is a blend of stoic knowledge and the concepts of manifestation pertain to coordinating our inner moods with outside activities, preparing both of our both inside and beyond the globe for the love we want to draw in the same amount of stoicism, believed in the ability to live in these actions are also in tune with nature help us to live peacefully with the connection's organic flow and relationships, readying us to accept the love intended for us materializing as a particular individual is much more than just hope. Thrown into the cosmos, it concerns creating an inner defense garden in which love can flourish and draw in the, the core of what we yearn for this voyage based on the, the timeless lessons of stoicism to accept the practice of being in love. Turning virtue into the shift we you want to see in our connections and the need to find love has always existed throughout the history of poets, painters and philosophers of mankind have managed to convey this desire in their works that demonstrate the never-ending quest for emotional fulfillment and a sense of connection. Stoicism, with its ageless precepts, you are on the hunt for real relationships with each step you take in the direction of there's another person that you ought to be. Stride towards the love that is meant to be mine. I hope our discussion clarifies, based on your ideas and preferences, and is a, a how-to book to locate your perfect spouse or bolstering the loving link you have with us, your encounters, and share with us what thank you the universe has bestowed on you. Thanks for coming on this trip with me if you enjoyed it. Our journey today has made us like and keep going with us. Together, we'll become better.
gaining powerful knowledge from Stoicism every day.